Oh, we got everybody, right? Wait a minute. Why isn't Nivea in our party? Okay. Uh, somewhat confused. Shouldn't she now be in our party? Or is she just not going to be part of the action? That's somewhat confusing. Is she even following us? Yep. I oh, gotcha. Uh, collect all. All right, let's see. Uh, I would probably say we want to go with the longbow. And then we can put a cold iron dagger. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. What I meant to do was say we have a quick way to get into a second set there and that's probably what I'm was looking for there a cloak okay let's put on a cloak got a couple flails all right she looks like she's got it going on pretty well there okay now what I'm going to have to do is learn how to quickly change into the other, at some point in time, how to change easily into the other fighting stances. I believe that's what we need to do there. Okay. Who's there? The fine apparel of this young half-elf woman is torn and stained with blood, dust, and dirt. However, she holds herself with such dignity that you would be uh, forgiven uh, for thinking you were at a high society party. And not in the dank catacombs under the city. Her fingers grip her rapier hilt with confidence, ready to draw it at a moment's notice. At her feet lies a dead body. So mutilated that at first glance, it's hard to tell if it's animal or human. Relax, friend. We're not demon or cultists. Don't poke my eye out with that thing. All right? We fell down here during the attack. I'm Sila. That's Helgia and Anivia. We're looking for a way back to the surface. Really? I'm so ever glad to hear it. The girl relaxes slightly, but she keeps her hand on her sheathed weapon. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Camellia. I was also in the square when, when her self-control falters for a moment and you glimpse the fear beneath her mask of perfect placidity. She licks her lips nervously. I can scarcely believe it. How did all those demons get into the city? I thought, naively... It now seems that the Wardstone protected us from attack and Trindindla. I can't wrap my head around it. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Uh, do you want to join us? Certainly, survivors should stick together. It's only sensible. Who knows what else could be prowling? Okay. <clears throat> Tell me about yourself. The girl gives an elegant shrug. Who am I? Just an ordinary citizen who decided to take a stroll through the square on the day of the festival. But that's not what you wish to know, is it? You most likely wish to know whether I'll be a burden should you ask me to join your crew. No need to worry. I can assure you that I am skilled with a rapier and I also possess some knowledge of magic. She touches the polished snake skull amulet that hangs from her around her neck. <clears throat> well, not many could stand a strike from a demon lord. I can't argue with that. 
more fortunate. Uh, again, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in and watching me uh, play the beta version. If you have any suggestions, don't hesitate to ask. Don't hesitate to tell me. If you got questions, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, we're going to go through this together and see what kind of game we really got here. Uh, Discari himself has come to Kinebris. There's no mistaking that ugly mug. Uh, Tarendalev tried to fight him, but what could she do against a near deity? Even the Wardstone was no help. Our city used to be protected by powerful forces, but now... <clears throat> uh, we've seen how powerless they truly are. Camellia finishes Amoebia's uh, thought with ruthless, ruthless precision. Uh, henceforth, we shall no. Uh, henceforth, we shall have no one but ourselves to rely on. I suppose. All right, something's going on with my other computer here. Boom, ba, boom, boom. All right. Uh, what happened to the poor man? I don't know. He must have been in the square when disaster struck. I tried to revive him, but he already dead. Okay. He didn't get these wounds from the fall. Be on your guard. Whatever killed him likely hasn't gone far. We need to keep moving. That's right. It would be the height of foolishness to survive a demon attack only to perish under a pile of rubber. Okay, in dialogue. Using abilities. Companion Camilla has the ability to cure light wounds. To use it, uh, click the companion. Camilla's going to click on the icon of the spell cure light wounds. And click LMB. Uh, the companion Camilla's portrait to heal her. Well, she's not in my portraits, by the way. That's Camellia. All right. Uh. Okay. I think I was supposed to. Okay. There's. All right. Can you? I hear the voice of the spirits. Okay, I'm not sure that helped, but anyways, she's still not in her party. I don't know if that's because, uh, I don't know if that's because she's hurt and can't fight, or if it's because, um, it's a bug, so I don't know. Uh, let's see. What's on your mind? I wonder. Let's see. Now, question is, how do I get... Ah, weapon set. Gotcha. There you go. I figured out how to do the different weapon sets. All right, let's get everybody together again. Uh, I wonder if I can snipe that. Okay. Okay. A solid plan. Enemy near. Okay. When combat begins, the game is paused. The pause is convenient to give orders for characters. Um, to pause or unpause the game, press space to order your character's attack select them and click the right spot button. Your enemies are highlighted in red and the allies in green. Okay. So I can do this and I can go. Let's 
let's see what do we got going on here gold coins padded armor collect all padded armor what do I, oh I currently have a chain shirt on okay so you have a chain shirt Everyone's got on chain shirt. Everyone's got better armor than padded armor. Okay, well, I guess we're going to keep it. All right. Well, let's move up and figure out where we're going from here. That didn't take very long. Okay. Well, it sounds like we've still got a bunch of. Let us find our All right. What else we got in here? Okay. These fights are way too easy. This way. Left or right? Left or right? I don't know which way to go. No. You are to date. Let me draw the first blood. No glory without risk. Attack. Okay. A sort of black. So far, so good. Relatively easy. Everything going smoothly. Finding a bunch of dead bodies. Coin. Braces of armor. Do you have bracers? Chameleon doesn't have bracers. You don't have bracers, but I have bracers. Okay, so let's give you some bracers. What does that mean? Non stacking braces of armor plus one banded armor. So that didn't give me a stacking bonus. Uh, plus one luck bonus to reflex bow. Okay. Uh, yeah, there are a huge amount of equipment slots. We got glasses, head, neck, shirt, uh, armor, rings, belt, gloves, bracers, boots. Now this one, armor bonus. This or I already have an armor bonus plus one. So, non-stacking. These braces grant their wear an armor bonus of plus one, just as though they were wearing armor, but they're already wearing armor. So that needs to go on like a spellcaster. So when we get a spellcaster, we can use that. This, this game seems so far that it's going to be quite in depth. Let me guess, I'm at a dead end. I was supposed to go the other way. Of course I was. Of course I was supposed to go the other way. If I went the right way, I wouldn't be so stupid. All right. All right. 
Like I said, if you guys want to tell me what to do or how to do it or what I you think I should be doing, just let me know. I have no problems. The light take you. She's got that. Spirit weapon enchantment. Nah, we don't need that. Large person, no. Nope. We're all the spirits demand your blood. We're all pretty good here. Okay, we'll get that one first. Okay. Of course, they're not giving me anything. Let's see. Uh, turn-based mode. Uh, yes, I think they. You can set up turn-based mode. Um, I believe that that's set up. You can do that. I haven't really looked into what that. It always pauses, and then you got your first actions you can do. And then space, it'll take it off. What are you doing? She's way back there. Why is she so far back? Okay. Why was she so far back? Uh, click the rock in the bottom. There's a, this right here, the rook in the bottom. Yeah. There you go. Well, we'll see if the turn base is working, because now I've got it set up here. Okay. Well, it looks like we're going to run into some people. See what we got going on here. No, I can't just walk away. I It's got to be somewhere. You struggle to make out the man's features in the gloom. As soon as he steps into the circle of light, however, you realize that you have never encountered a creature like this before. The stranger looks like the work of a vivisectionist who attempted to stitch together a lizard and a man. So we got a lizard and a man stitched together. The man notices you and, and freezes. The curling horn protrudes from his head, casts a malevolent shadow on the cave wall. Wundaug! Lan, did you find it? The woman looks just as strange as her companion, like a cross between a cat and a spider. When she catches sight of you, she immediately drops into a fighting stance. Her movements reveal the lethal grace of a wild predator. Who is this? The do is here to save our mongrel soul, no doubt. Lan stops her with a gesture. Wait, they may, not, they may know what's going on up there. Demons are laying waste of Kinnabras. Lan's expression hardens. If things are as bad as you say, then we all have to hurry. One dog looks over you, considering something. You didn't come from the direction of the shield maze. Damn it. I couldn't care less about what's going on on the surface, but the maze. Sila, I realize you have your own troubles, but we need to be in Kenebras. People are dying up there. Please show us the way out. Uh, no, we're not evil. Uh, what are you doing here? That's none of your... We're looking for a holy... <laughs> okay, one of them... Okay, that cracked me up. One of them's like, oh, no, we can't tell you. It's none of your... And the other one's just like, we're looking for a holy sword. It was here in the center, sticking out of a rock. The sooner we find it, the better. Some kids from our tribe took off 
for the shield maze. They figured it had collapsed and now it's their time to go up to the surface like all the legends foretold. Except they don't have a clue what's waiting for them up there. They're not fighters. And Saul, the chief of our tribe, is dead set against it. He says that now is the time for the underground crusaders to take up arms. If we get the holy sword, we might be able to change the chief's mind. One dog huffs a breath. It's a fool's errand. None of us will be able to hold the sword, let alone use it to save anyone. It's not an ordinary weapon. It's made from righteous, heavenly flame and will burn anyone who touches it. Do you think you're special, Lan? I'll pick it up with my teeth and tie it to my hand if I have to. Doesn't matter. An angel sword and a troop of stalwart mongers will be able to work a minor miracle. Speaking of which, you're still here, Windu which means that deep down, you know it's possible. Wundug shrugs and turns away. Maze, does it really lead to the surface? Yes, there are other ways up, but they are far from here, and after the earthquake, there's a good chance they've collapsed, but the maze, there's a legend among our people that when the walls of the maze fall, that will be the signal for us, the underground crusaders, that the time has come to go up to the surface and fight the demons in the final confrontation. Okay. Until then, people say the maze is shielding us from taking rash actions. I'm the only one in our whole tribe to have been in the maze, and even I don't know if it's true. But the further I went in the maze, the fresher the air became. That means that it really must lead to the surface. When the ceiling and wall started shaking, the young ones in our tribe lost their heads. They figured the maze was going to collapse, so it was time to go up to the surface. They grabbed whatever weapon were in were to hand the they grabbed whatever weapons were to were at hand and ran off toward the maze. Uh beta spelling, uh, they think the maze is no longer a danger to them. They've been listening to Windog too much. Dangers. I warned them a hundred times. You hear a hint of emotion in Windog's voice for the first time, but it's no use. My words just went in one ear and out the other. A sort of holy flame. How did it wind up down here? It came here with its owner a long time ago, 50,000 gongs to be precise. 70 years ago in Uplander time. Okay. 50,000 gongs ago, our forebears found a dead angel here along with the bodies of his comrades. The tribe gave them a dignified burial and they were laid to rest with their weapons. But the flaming angelic sword was stuck in a rock, and no one was able to pull it out. It burned to the touch, like real fire, so the rock was placed, o was placed over the angel's grave. It should be here somewhere. Maybe the angel will dig himself out and find the sword for us. That might be our best shot in this chaos. Okay, Lan, you're going a little crazy. Dead angels, okay, yeah, coming back to life, just going to dig his way out of the ground. I say not. Land, watch your tongue. Okay. We'll find the sword faster if we war together. Thanks. An extra pair of eyes can only help. The sword will be easily enough to spot. It looks swordy. <laughs> so the sword looks like, like a sword. So, you know, just in case you were confused on what the sword would look like it would look like a sword help us and we'll get you out of here now we're talking let's go to work it's a good thing we all bumped into each other what you want to find the sword quickly so the underground monsters bring you back to the surface so be it okay 
Uh, some intera interactions aren't easy to find. Some past such an object, every character automatically makes a perception check. Uh, interactive objects are highlighted when you hover your mouse over them or press tab. Okay. So now we have to go make perception checks, I guess. Is that what they're saying? We walk around and make perception checks. Okay. I am helpful, am I not? What do we have here? We'll find out. We've got a copper ring. Alright. No reason to pause. What's that there? Demons, beware. Grinding stone times three. Okay. So now we're just going to search around, try to find everything. Ah, not this time. Oh, look, we found a swordy sword. <laughs> 